I just finished my taxes, my federal return, $1. That means you did it perfect. spell you said it was fine but not as exciting as you like you should go watch uh, uh, the interview with Chloe Chloe talks about a lot of that there's like a whole section on all the different iterations I wasn't fast enough well we can get some money here we're a little weak but that's fine. We want to lose anyway. I sold Yordle? Yeah, I shouldn't have. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have. Alright. I keep letting the wrong playlist load. Let's do this one. Yeah, I didn't win that fight. Are you ever going to address the Yordle problem? They are too good for economy. A must play if hit. Are they? Do you watch the tournament yesterday and everyone went Yordle when they hit it? Is that what happened? You sure? Not sure that's true there, bro. Uh, love the work the team did with Silco. One thought, though. You said that TFT players don't like his curse effects. Then you introduce a unit who literally kills your units for power. Don't get me wrong. I love Silco, too. It just seems strange, given your recent learnings. Uh, Five-cost units can be high complexity, and you can opt in or out of them. So that's why that's kind of fine. Whereas if it's you know something like shadow items that you must play, that ends up being a lot worse. That's three talons. Now make the talons go away. Although we want to lose anyway, so. Maybe not that hard, though. I would like to kill something. Well, 20 gold. At least we're rich. What's your go-to hangover cure? I don't get drunk enough to know. 
Do the Woodland Trinket clones factor into the amount of damage you've dealt for losses? No. That would suck. They count as summons. Summons haven't dealt damage since, like, mid-set two. Does Woodland Charm still exist? Yes. Again, we were low on item start, so we know we're lost streaking, so... Lost streaking is good here. We just actually want to kill, like, one or two things like we did there. So, that was good. We don't want to win, though. No, don't win. Okay, good. Nice. That's a perfect loss. Perfect loss. Are there any plans to keep augments around in future sets? We've already announced that augments are staying for set 7. Okay. Man. I can't take the zigs either. God damn it. Okay. Oi. Well, we're not going to level. Stay at 30 here. We want to get two more losses here, so may as well get two more losses. Does Kha'Zix seem weak to you or just higher skill curve? Let's find out today. Kha'Zix and Ari are on my list to play today, so... Let's find out today. We're going to be having longer streams tomorrow, especially. Today, not as much, but this guy has an Arcanist spat and then went full Hexec. Okay, cool. It's fine. Kill Jarvan. Nice. What's mutant this game? It is uh, Blademaster. What are your thoughts on making Trindamir a Chemtech Challenger with Warwick already having both these traits? It makes it very easy to run. Yes. Yes. It does make it very easy to run. That's true. You are correct. Uh, hopefully we don't face this guy. But just in case we do, I'm going to position poorly on purpose. I want to lose to this guy. So if we face him, which we did, he pulls Malzahar, which means I shouldn't win this fight. Ash should clean up. Hopefully. Nice. Uh-oh. No! God damn it, it wasn't enough. Wait, maybe? Ash, you got me? Ash, yes! Oh, it was everything. Okay. Whew. Whew. Perfect. I'm at the cell. Nice. All right, 50 gold, level five. Perfect loss streak. 76 health, not bad. All right, let's find an Ari and hopefully get some items that fit Ari. Also, if I find a Gnar, we should use that at level 6. So we find the Ari. Okay. That's good. That's less good. Okay. Who proposed the idea of Augments in the first place anyway? It was a team effort. We all kind of were on the same path. We all knew where we were going. So. If 
Thoughts on making the matchup tracker more obvious? Uh, we really don't need to make it... It's an advanced feature. It doesn't need to be blinking in your face. It's not that kind of feature. That would be really bad UX design. We killed two things. Nice. Wait. Oh, it was an innovator. Damn. Okay. I love what you and the team do. I was wondering if we'd ever be offered full augments, unique augments on 1-3. I often get sad when I'm offered an Arcanist Emblem. And then I see another 1-2 to two enemies who pick Arcanist Emblem. I mean, I hear you, but realistically, we're probably not going to change that anytime soon. Oh, what? I should just throw this in. I can... I gotta level up quick, though. This is definitely a level 7 rolldown. Who came up with Paper Airplane Boom? Uh, Linda and Chloe did. Do you think Treasure Trove 1 giving 2 Nikos is OP? I think if you high roll Treasure Trove 1 getting 2 Nikos, yes, that's ridiculously OP. The odds of that are incredibly low, but yes. Alright, add song to playlist. What do we got here? Okay. I mean, Verdant Veil's just nasty. We're taking Verdant Veil. We want to run Ari Carry, so this isn't good. This is okay, but no, it's Verdant Veil. All right, one more loss, and then we'll have to roll down. And we need uh, Ari with a tear or rod or glove. Uh, I don't think I understand debonair. When I was watching your video on YouTube the other day, I thought you said when you have a debonair active, a VIP could show up in your shop. Did I misunderstand? Yes, you misunderstood. VIPs can show up at any time. When debonair is active, they show up a lot more. And you can only have one VIP... And the VIP bonus to be active must be... You have to have Debonair active. I don't know. This Kha'Zix is doing work. Alright. Well, we've lost streaked as hard as we could. 50 health. Ari off Carousel with a blue buff. Ari off Carousel with a blue buff. Any Aries? Nope. Tears on a one cost. Great. Are you going Ari carry? I'm trying, but... It's been a pretty weak start, so I'm forcing it a little hard. Is VIP inspired by Chosen? Yes. It was inspired by Chosen. Hey Mort, do you plan on nerfing? <laughs> I do not balance Valorant. So, no, I do not plan on nerfing those things. Alright, we are looking for Ari and any other Arcanist we can find. Okay, we got the Ari. Okay, good. Would it would be better if VIP was two star? I promise you, you do not want that. And to be honest, I'm kind of going to insult you a little bit that you think that that's good, because like, bro, 
Do you really want to just like everyone getting random two stars across the game? I don't know about that one, bro. I'd really like to hit the two star, uh, two star packs. It'd be a big upgrade. At least we have the Runic Shield. The Runic Shield is going to make a massive difference here. Without this, I think we'd actually be pretty screwed. But... Ow. No, it's going to be close. Whew. Whew. All right, making a comeback. Hello, sorry if this is asked before, but what is the reasoning behind Ash's volley being limited range? Uh, she's a two cost. She doesn't really need infinite range. Uh, do you think Corky benefits from Twin Shot as much as he should? Yes. His spell can double proc. So, yes. Hey Mort, any thoughts on making an item like Nico's on a trait that allows you to reroll your augment choices? Maybe someday. It's a little higher complexity than we're looking for right now, but maybe someday. We got none of the items we were looking for for our RE carry. That's great. I was hoping for no items. Yes! So good. Oy. What happened to Caitlyn? She barely one-shots unit anymore. Nothing changed. Still the same Caitlyn. Thoughts on Thieving Rascal's Augment and it giving Lulu is OP. What? What? It's fine. What does that mean? How do I answer these questions? Okay, again, not having Vex 2 here is obviously hurting us. Oh god, close. Okay. Not gonna complain about that. I'm curious how your team made Silco. Did you chat with the league team to help model him or did someone on your team already have experience on that? Someone on our team had experience with that. The league team was not really involved in the Silco creation. Oh yeah, I like how I'm positioning in the corner like I don't have Verdant Veil. Do you think Twin Chat has an identity problem giving AD to 2 AP chance? No, I don't. Good morning, Mort. For the 7 mutant trait, why did you add AP for Mono Mune instead of increasing the amount of mana it takes off? I think you know the answer to that. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite food? What's what's our favorite food? What? 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 You guys are asking some weird questions, man. All right, well, we're winning fights. Can't complain about that. Thoughts on sushi? Uh, I'm not a sushi fan. I don't really like seafood. Uh, all right, well, Rod would be what we'd be after so that we could actually have AP on our Ari. Dun, 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 dun. 
Is there anything you feel like is a bit too strong or too weak? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's why we're playing this weekend. To get lots of thoughts, lots of feedback, figure out what's good and bad. But there are lots of things I think are still very off. Oh, yes. An Arcanist spat would be amazing, because then we can go Arcanist Vi, which is just, like, nutty. That's a lot of Dravens. If everyone's in a position in that corner, I should probably move to the other corner. Like everyone in that corner, though. All right, augment, Arcanist. Damn. All right, portable forge. Is there anything AP wise we'd really want with portable forge? Eh. Murazane. Yeah, that's true. Murazane would be pretty sick. All right, let's do it. No, God. <laughs> Oh, it was everything we didn't want. <laughs> Fuck. Everyone but one person is in that corner, so... Whatever. I can't move it all quick enough. Much better Ari positioning this time, though. Much better Ari positioning that time. Uh, hey, more is it intent that Corky is supposed to be flexible between AP and AD? No, it's AP only. He's an AP champ. You should not be building AD on Corky. Corky is an AP champ. Corky is the AP carry of Yordle. So, that is intentional. All right, give me give me a glove. Give me a glove. Please. Glove? Damn it. Any Aries? Oh, well, this sucks because what the actual play I'm supposed to do here is this. Yep, double Zeke's it is. Yeah, it's not really Ari carry so much as it is just good Arcanist comp, but... Why not make it Silco even for it would do? Please stop. It really stopped being funny half an hour ago. Hey, since it apparently asked more bad questions today, which do you prefer, tables or potatoes? Potatoes. Go Kamai. We, we have a brand new set, and everyone's like, I'm just going to ask stupid questions, man. Come on. Like... <sighs> uh, 
Uh, hopefully this can change up to the troll questions. Thoughts on this build remake of the cast comp using Renata? I'm in the middle of testing another frontline of Chemtech this time around. Yeah, I think there is a Renata build that can work with like a lot of bodyguard and enchanters. Oh god, kill the Aurelia. Kill the Aurelia. Thank you, Vi. I'm running, I mean, I guess six Arcanist is giving Vi 50% AP, so I can't complain. Okay, but seriously, any, oh my, well, okay. Let's just lock shop for that, I guess. Uh, can you get the big golden egg thingy at 1-3? Nope, only 4-6. How are you today, Mort? I've been better. It's been a rough morning so far, I think. Hey, Mort, do you prefer Pepsi or Pepsi? Diet Pepsi. Uh, Zeri seems overly strong. Is she on the nerf block? Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure she's as overly strong as people are making her out to be. The shroud obviously hurts here. Kha'Zix on my Victor also really hurt here. We might lose this. Yep. Yeah. I thought Kha'Zix was weak. He wrecked me. You all lied to me. Uh, there's no Infinity Edge. Uh, how do different sources of ignoring armor stack like Draven VIP and multiple weak spot augments um, additively? They're actually quite good and they stack very well together. All right, I think... Okay, well, everyone moved over to that corner. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, good morning, Mort. I've noticed that my favorite DJ, DJ Ox, is not in the booth. Yeah, that's really weird. It does seem to be a PBE bug, but that is very weird. Here comes the Victor cast. Nice. I mean, Ari's doing damage. She's just hard to use with the range thing. I'm just donkey rolling for Victor at this point. Okay. What are you most excited about this set? Super excited for the new champs. For me, it's the augments. I'm looking forward to the augments. Hey, Mort, curious about your thoughts on the state of Cho after the nerf. Personally, feels a tad too weak. No, I disagree. I've been seeing Cho dominate a lot of games. Mutants in particular, with 7 Mutant option now especially, seem ridiculously strong. Oh my god, that Vi damage in the back. Whew. I don't know, you guys like you guys are saying Ari bad, but like, two item Ari's doing a lot of work here. Oh good, a second Sunfire. Uh, I love how you guys decided to model and put in Silco in the game. With him having a model now, is there any chance he might become a League Champ? Nope. Nope, he will never be a League Champ. So. You egoed my dono? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like juggling a million things and a million questions. I'm sorry. If I did, I'm really sorry. Mods, if you can tell me what the dono was, I'm happy to reply to it. Uh, a Vanguard Mystic was my favorite comp. Will this archetype ever come back? I used to one-trick Knight Mystic Rise. I think it'll definitely come back at some point. I think it definitely has a shot at coming back at some point. Three star Trindamir. Uh oh. 
Three star Trindamir. And a perfect Zephyr. That's not good. And a VIP Draven. Oh, still beat him though. Thanks. Nice. Uh, did any Jace Victor trait interactions get proposed during set design? No, it didn't. Appreciate the donation though. I think we were just kind of focused on the ones we had, so we didn't overkill it. Okay, Ari, you're gone. Victor two. Okay, we know we're up against this person. They've got that shroud there. I would rather they shroud Ari than shroud anything else. So we end up going like this. When it feels like cold, then we yeah. If anything, it's like that. That way Ari can hit this whole group. Victor laser should be huge here. There's that big Ari alt. Just need Jace to take... Yep, perfect. Nice. All right, I think we're pretty strong here. We're winning all our fights. It's really just luck into a Vex 3 at this point. Now the dirty secret here, by the way, is that I should probably take out Ari now and put the items on Victor. That's the dirty secret. This is the hardest matchup. He didn't shroud Victor, though. As long as we keep Kha'Zix away, we might be okay here. Positioning was good. Victor casts. Okay, Victor casts. We got a shot. Nope, not quite. Damn. Okay. Okay, this is going to get close here. Uh, so how are the three trait units designed? Is there a set limit on how many you can have? Nope, it just fills in the trait web as we need it to. That's really it. This might be too risky, but I think it is the right play. Yeah, I think it's Silco for Mastermind on the Victor here. And then they get the Victor cast really early now, and yep, there we go, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, cross my fingers. We're all going to come down to the Shroud placement. We're away from the Kha'Zix. Oh, I fucked up the Shroud, though. I thought my opponent was smarter than he pretended to be. Big Victor cast, though. Oh, God. Nope. Kha'Zix. Wait, wait. The Silco. Oh, the Silco explosions. Whew. Oh, the Silco explosions saved me. This is why Silco is a grief. He literally just saved me. Don't be stupid. Oh, his? Yeah, he probably shouldn't be running Silco. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, okay, Chad, if you're talking about his Silco, his Silco's kind of a grief.
All right, roll down, see what we can hit here. Here we go. Fuck. That's everything bad. That's not good. All right, all right, big explosions, big explosions. Nice. Second victor cast. Nice, it's a first. There we go. Arcanist, GG.